In this video, I'm going to be giving you a free eBay masterclass, showing you how you can achieve success in just five steps. There is money everywhere out there. You just need to know how to claim it. I've made other videos on eBay dropshipping in the past. In fact, that is actually how I made my start in e-commerce. But today it has never been easier to get started, make money and build yourself a business that could replace your nine to five job and make thousands of dollars per month sitting at home. I've made this video really easy to follow along and there are only five step. First, the introduction to eBay automation. Two, setting up your eBay account. Three, finding winning products. Four, listing them and automating the whole process. And five, scaling your stores to six figures and beyond. So if you can watch the next 10 to 15 minutes of this video, it could change your life in ways you never imagined. All you need to do is focus and have a determination to succeed. If you still need help, comment eBay dropshipping down below and your question and I'll reach out to you to help one of you. Now, it isn't out of the realm of possibility to get results like this, this, and this. So if you're ready to go, let's get into it. So why eBay? Why drop shipping? And how do we create this eBay automation business? Well, eBay exploded in the last 10 years and people started selling and making literally millions on eBay. I got into eBay back in around 2016 and drop shipping wasn't even a thing. In fact, in my small community, we just called it eBay digital arbitrage. And this is when people were making ridiculous ridiculous amount of money because no one was doing it. But as people started selling courses and finding out about it, it became saturated. And even worse, people started abusing all the rules and the dropshipping method. And eBay just pretty much cracked down on it and made it super hard for dropshippers to survive. So most of them end up quitting. However, now things are completely different. And eBay even created a page to show you how you can actually dropship on the platform. It's not saturated like it once was. And with the new methods I will talk to you in this video, you can take advantage and capitalize while others are still sleeping. Drop shipping, if you somehow haven't heard how this actually works, you find a product that you would sell online, something that can be listed on eBay, but bought cheaper somewhere else. You then list it on eBay, and when somebody makes a purchase, you take their information and purchase a product directly from the source, but you actually ship it directly to the buyer. For example, I find an item on Amazon that I can buy for $10, that I find out I can sell on eBay for $20. Then when Jeffrey comes along and buys it from my eBay store, I head over to Amazon and buy it, but get it sent directly to Jeffrey. Now with the software I'm going to be showing you, you can literally automate almost every aspect of this eBay business. So let me hop onto my computer right now and let's get into it. So obviously the first thing that we need to do is create a new eBay seller account, which is super simple. Just type in eBay seller account on Google and it should be one of these first links like that, start selling on eBay and just follow it through and sign up for an eBay account right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and sign up for one as well and just go through the steps. Okay, and so here we are in a brand new account. I created one right now called Savage Deals. So yeah, go figure. Um, so let's click get started and see what it shows us. So this is how it looks like. It might have changed since you've last seen it, but let's just go through and I'm gonna get rid of that. And none of this matters too much. I just wanna go through a second and show you what it looks like. So obviously this is where your sales would be. This is all the outstanding tasks. So for me right now is to set up your automatic payment method. And that only takes a couple of minutes. Don't worry about that. And here you can see get started and everything. The first thing I want to do, and I know this might not be necessary, is that I like personally creating a logo and everything for my store. So I'll just head over to Canva right here and I'll type in something like, logo and let's go and create it doesn't have to be anything too fancy um, but i do think when someone sees your store you just look more legitimate so i think it does help to be honest and uh, so let's do this one right here oh that one's a paid one let's get one that's free um <laughs> okay i'm just gonna click this one right here click customize template and just change it slightly so i'm just gonna put savage deals and then obviously change that to an s and that to a d and then i'm going to change that background because i don't like that brown looking color get rid of that and change this and let's see what that looks like obviously not that um we can try a different color let's see how that looks that looks pretty horrible i'm just gonna keep it black 
And there you go. <laughs> we created a logo in a couple of seconds. And if you still are trying to figure out what a name, it doesn't really matter to be honest. Just pick anything, pick something general. You don't want to get stuck into a niche. So don't just say beauty something and then just pick something very general like savage deals. It honestly really doesn't matter when it comes to eBay. So I can just go ahead and download that for our logo. And so the next thing we want to do is set up our automatic payment method. Just click here. And so we can usually use a check-in account or a credit and debit card, super simple and straightforward, but that's just gonna pay for our fees and our eBay store. And so once we've done that, we can go back to the main page and it's gonna really annoyingly show this help guide each time, but we wanna char, uh, but we want to choose uh, what type of account we want to set up. So uh, let's go ahead and choose our store subscription. Just start off at starter. You know, it's it's only $4.95 or depending where you are. It's, it's very, very cheap. And so I would just start off with the starter account right here. You can see that you get a certain amount allotted. Um, as obviously you spend more and you make more sales, it does make sense to go up to basic and then premium and then anchor. Um, I don't know about enterprise, but if you're doing that well, props to you. Um, but you can see that, you know, the the fees are going to get relatively cheaper as you go up, which makes sense. They, they want to incentivize you to uh, make more money. And so, yeah, I, I would just say start off with the starter account. And then once you start making a few sales, you can move up to the basic account. So how do we find a winning drop shipping product? And so the next thing we need to do is head over to our software. So in my case, it's EasySync or eSync.io. And that is a software that's going to be literally automating a whole business. It's gonna take it from hours and hours of product research to pretty much within minutes. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So as it says here, yep, we can automate your entire drop shipping business. There are other softwares. This is just the one I am familiar with and it works really, really well. And so uh, the first thing you wanna do is you can just start a trial there uh, and sign up. And of course, I got an affiliate code for you. So you, if you use Joey Drop, you'll literally get 50% off. So it's a no brainer, it's 50% off. So once you get inside, the first thing you need to do is add your store. And so just click over here and click add store. You can see there's a bunch of different stores here and you can add store. I've already added to Savage Deals as you can see the brand new store to the site. And so let's just take you through what you need to know. The first thing is this is your main dashboard. So when you start getting sales, your listings will show up here, your orders will show up here, what pending orders are here and what how much profit you've made, which is obviously the main thing uh, when we build an eBay automation business. Um, and so that's really the dashboard. It's super, super helpful once you actually start making sales. This is where you're gonna find your orders. And so when customers make those orders with you, um, eSync will actually do all the work for you. That's why it's automated. Um, I'm gonna show you how we can list products directly from eSync and onto our dropshipping store, and then how they will actually fulfill the product for you so you won't literally need to do anything um, and so the first thing i do want to do though before we get into this and this is very important to watch this next part and that's put our settings up so here's our repricing settings so this is just a basic few um ground rules that we're going to lay down for our account so we need to tell eSync what our ground rules are for our, our dropshipping store um, so here we go so this is our reprice store. so we're going to do quantity in stock um, you can start with just one if it's a brand new product i like to put 10 in as showing my quantity on eBay, just so that if you do sell out, um, you're not gonna be stuck with a, a lost sales. Shipping time, I'm actually gonna take that down and put it to two, uh, just because in this case, we are gonna be shipping from Amazon. So as long as you're in an area where Amazon ships really fast, that should be no problem. Um, and so that's all I want to do for that. The next thing we wanna do is off uh, selection setting. And so you should always be choosing free. Never, never, never charge for shipping when it comes to eBay. People hate that. I don't know why, but people absolutely hate to pay for shipping on eBay. So make sure you always select free shipping. And this is how long you're gonna tell the customer that it takes for you to handle the item, to fulfill it. So we're just gonna put in two actually, just because it is relatively fast. Um, especially because we're automated, but I like to give it just some leeway just in case something happens or there's a technical glitch or anything like that, you have that kind of cushion. Um, and so let's go back to our repricing settings and see what else we need to change. And so you can actually do a range repricing. I wouldn't worry about that for now, to be honest. Your additional fees. Um, so obviously eBay charges fees. Um, and so in this case, we have 30 cents, which is a fixed fee and percentage fee, which is how much they charge for per category. So it 
puts it normally at 10, I would actually increase that to 12 or even 13, just because depending on what product you sell um, will depend on the percentage that is charged. And I like to be on the side of being conservative just so that you really know you're making profits when it comes to it. So I would just go between 12 and 13%. And so you also have an option to round prices. I don't really bother, but it will just do exactly what I said. It will round the prices. Um, and so you just put in your location settings. So obviously you put your country, wherever you're from, if you're from the United States or if you're from Afghanistan, make sure you put that in. Um, that's a no brainer, obviously, just so it has the location details. Then we can do our sales count and enable that if you really want. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't worry about that either, to be honest. But let's go back to our settings and go to automatic ordering. And so we want to enable this, obviously. Um, we really want to be have this store to be automated as much as possible. So I'm gonna have it enabled. And I actually like to mark shipped after the automation order is completed, um, just so that the customer knows what's going on. And um, instantly mark all sales as shipped for your buyer. You can have that on, but I would just leave that off for now. Just keep mark shipped on um, after AO is completed. Um, and so you can exclude your taxes from your profit. Don't do that. Um, unless you're tax exempt, obviously. Um, and delete addresses after uh, completion i like to put that on just because you don't want a million addresses uh stored on your account and so you can also add a gift message so you can literally just say thanks for purchasing or something like that something nice for the customer to see and as long as you spell it correctly from savage deals and just save that as your basic template uh, for your gift message if you want for it to be included with your product and so let's go back here and see what else so we have an option to turn on automated message which i would definitely do um so this will send it to the customer uh straight away um so look you can see the default thanks for buying from our store easy as that um tracker and so you can your item has been shipped and the tracking number updates. Okay, and then last one, order delivered, message enabled, order delivered, pretty straightforward, right? Um, it's like they take all the work out of it for you. Um, and so just something else, you can create your own watermark and so this will show on your product. I would actually encourage you to do so, especially once you build up a store. It's very, very common for other eBay sellers and drop shippers to kind of take a look at your products and sell the same thing. Um, so if you put your watermark on this, so it just, just kind of adds that more, I don't know, personalization and uh, authenticity. So if you've got time, you can create a watermark and you can just go over to Canva and do that for free. I'm not gonna do that in this video. Um, but again, it's not a big deal, but just if you have some time, I would definitely do that. Here you can see your listing template. So when you upload a listing, this is how it's gonna look. And don't let that scare you just there, but you can see this is the basic format, which I actually think is a really good format. I typically don't like the default formats with software, but I think this one's perfect because it's very simple. Honestly, customers will probably take all of five seconds just to look to make sure it looks professional and that it doesn't look scammy and there's one line in the, the product description. So I'm actually fine with that. So now once we have those settings, we can go back and actually find our product. So let's click find it here. And so you can see it's already auto fill in with uh, products that we could potentially make money on. Um, I'm gonna go a bit more specific and filter this out. So we can choose a category. I'm just gonna leave it blank because if we're making money, we're making money. So I'm gonna go and search for products that at least has one competitor, but a max of 10. I don't want a, a product that's massively saturated. Uh, and the next thing, I want a product that's at least sold once so we know it has somewhat traction, but not sold more than, let's say 20 times. Let's just put that in there for now. Um, we can even increase a bit more, let's go 30. Um, and so we can do a minimum price. I like to put a minimum price in just because you don't wanna to get too low, otherwise you're pretty much scramming for pennies at that point. So I like to at least do $10 as a minimum price and probably maximum about $100. I don't like to go anymore because the higher you go, the more problems you're gonna have if something goes wrong with your product. People are more likely to complain when they spend $100 than $10. So, And straight away, you can see it's started showing us products. So the first is this um, looks like a uh, memory card of some sort. The price is $75 and you can actually make $5 off this product and five of them are sold in the last week and have six competitors. So let's just go here. And so you can see a few of these are two, $3. You can just keep going through till you find one, but honestly, if you have the um, capability to add as many listens as you want, 
I would just be going through and adding everything. Anything that you can make profit is profit at the end of the day, especially when you're not capped on the amount of listings that you have. But if you're just starting out, go for the ones that you can make at least three to five dollars, I would say, just so that you're getting something substantial. So you can see this makes four dollars, this makes four dollars uh, profit by listening. And it really is easy as just clicking add to store. You literally click add to store and it will be on your store, which is absolutely crazy, I know. Um, and that's pretty much how you list a product. Um, there's, you don't have to do it manually or anything like that. You just click add to store and it'll be on your store and live for people to purchase. And the last point is scaling. Once you start making sales on your store, for the first few months, reinvest all of your profits. This way you grow exponentially. I know it can be tempting to pull the profits straight away and start flexing that e-com lifestyle, but if you want to build an authentic business, here's a few things that I would do. Number one, hire virtual assistants to do your customer service. This is probably one of the most long-winded things that you get in eBay, and that's constantly replying to customers with their questions and also about their fulfillment. So once you have it in your budget, make sure to hire a virtual assistant that can take all the time away from that. Number two is constantly request higher selling limits. Obviously eBay wants to put a cap on how much you can sell because they want to know if they can trust you. So once you hit that cap and they see you're making sales, constantly be asking for a higher listing limit so that you can list more products and make more money. And three, put the customer first. Always make sure that your customer is the priority. You don't want them to leave you a negative review or complain about your product or worse, go to eBay to file a disgrievance against you. You always wanna put them first. So if they have a problem, just refund them and make sure that they are your priority. And the fourth thing is when you have this whole process down, don't just be content with one store. Start multiple stores. Maybe start stores in different countries even. Make sure that you're rinsing and repeating so you're always feeling that well full of money. And the last thing is to make sure when you know this process and you start making sales to post it all over the internet and sell some courses about it. Okay, that was a joke guys, but seriously, I hope this video helps you out. If you have any more questions, make sure to comment down below. I answer each and every one. And if you like this video and you found value in it, make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more e-com content.